No. <laughs> It's no secret that I'm a big fan of mountains and cool weather. And so, Cameron Highlands, a series of mountainous towns with year-round spring-like temperature, is unsurprisingly one of my favourite places in Malaysia. After two years stuck in Singapore, I was finally able to visit again. So we are on the way up to Cameron Highlands, finally. It is also the second day of Chinese New Year. Traffic has been intermittently heavy, and uh, this is a rest stop. So we're not there yet, but we are making a stop that we usually do whenever we come up here. There is an interesting landmark on the way up to Cameron Highlands. Take a look. It started raining and I'm not wearing the right shoes for this, but look at that thing. It's a little too developed over here, but it's pretty epic over there. Right, time to get back in the car. So we are not getting any reception here and we are late and I can't contact the, the folks that are running the Airbnb sort of place that we're staying in, so. Right, so we're in Tanah Rata now, which is finally in the vicinity of Cameron Islands. And this is where we're staying as well. It's a little, probably one of the bigger towns in the vicinity, I think.
Okay, we are now at the place that we are supposed to be living in. We are waiting for uh, the housekeeping staff to meet us here at the car park and I think presumably they'll give us the uh, keys and all that. It's already feeling kind of cooling even inside here, which is nice. Followed by U Mobile and Digital Communications. DG Communications. <laughs> so we're downstairs from the room where there are supposed to be a number of shops and there are so we're gonna see if anything here is interesting mountain wind is very nice. It is so great. This is actually a really good location in terms of convenience. Lots of stuff here, food, convenience stores. So we're here at a little garden. It's called Tan's Camellia Garden. And this is also the trailhead, apparently, for the hike that I'm planning to do tomorrow. So there's a garden, and then presumably you can go further and get into a hiking trail. It's already past six and we don't have too much light left. So we're just gonna try and explore this small garden. So I asked them about the trail tomorrow and apparently the trailhead that goes, that used to go through here is now obscured by this wall structure. So they advised me that I should try to go around the wall and apparently there's a way to get to the trailhead. So I guess that's what I'm going to be trying tomorrow. So the owners of this place, they live in this very eccentric, interesting little cottage. And what they do is 
they sell flowers, potted plants, tea, botanic stuff. And they kind of live here surrounded by their very dense garden of flowers and all kinds of things. Really kind of nice. Could use, a, could use less mosquitoes. Less mosquitoes, but otherwise pretty nice. Yeah, the reviews say there's a friendly cat, so I guess this is the friendly cat. Yo, friendly cat! <laughs> uh, Google review your chance of the mouth and friendly. <laughs> Mm. So. so we're heading there now, or hoping to. Looks like a steamboat place with a really nice balcony which is all which is what what it's all about so we're hoping to get a balcony seat but it's currently full so we're kind of sitting inside and waiting and hoping that someone leaves and then we'll be able to move outside. I would say that was so so hot pot. We waited a really long time for the food. The food was alright. Cameron Highlands is always a good place to have hot pot just because you know it's colder and so you feel nicer when you have hot soup. So I'm actually kind of tired already right now but I couldn't resist just coming out for a quick walk just to enjoy the weather because it's so rare, you know? So I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. I really don't remember the last time I felt cool while being outside. I'm actually wearing a jacket, which is also something I've not done in a very long time. Feels good. Hey, 
It's actually sort of remarkable how lively it is out here. It's past 10 o'clock and so, so many things are still operating. Shops and eateries and it's a mess. And we're back. Though honestly, if I didn't have to wake up early tomorrow and prepare for it, I kind of want to keep on walking. This was fun. Okay, whoops. Main door is closed now, so I'm gonna have to go find an alternative way back in. Whoa. I didn't know there was such an area. Okay. Looks like despite what the lady at the garden said, according to all of the latest reviews on Google and others, it seems like the trailhead I was planning to hike from tomorrow morning is no longer accessible, which throws a wrench into my plans. So I spent some time come up with a plan B, which will probably be a tougher hike and also a less rewarding hike. But I guess that's the way it is, so a little bit nervous about that, but we are gonna push on ahead and try to do this height instead. So see you tomorrow. The height will probably be in its own video as usual. So the vlog will probably resume after the hike. See you tomorrow. <laughs>